Hey, Shalom. First off, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rocha Akwadash. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And the Rocha Akwadash is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth, double honest of the Apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from. And peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. All right, starting with the 144,000 of prophets and the rest of the men, women, and children that are listening and learning. All right, uh, this is just um, you know a news update coming from uh, Russia Today. It says Singapore to tag visitors with electronic monitoring device, electronic electronic monitoring devices to ensure COVID-19 quarantine compliance, all right? And, you know, you see a lot of these uh, so-called uh, uh, countries, all right, these, um, I guess you could call this a a, 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 a industrialized, industrialized com uh, country, okay? The Singapore is, you know, a, um, a technical, you know, advanced country, all right? They're using their technology, all right, to uh, push forward this, their, their, uh, their, this uh, draconian uh, laws, man. Okay, you know, uh, monitoring monitoring the people by force. Okay, uh, using you know AI and, and devices to tag people as if they're they're cattle. Okay, and this is all you know a part of the beast uh, system. Okay, this is all a part of and in, in, in leading to the uh, mark of the beast. Okay, which is the RFID chip. All right, spoken about in the book of Revelations thirteen to sixteen. So it says new arrivals to Singapore won't necessarily have to quarantine at a government facility during the pandemic. All right. So now they're trying to make it because before they were, you know, when this first thing started, when certain uh, countries, when people you know, arrived at certain countries, they did it even here in America. They made people quarantine, you know, at uh, government uh, facilities. But now they're saying, you know, hey, we, you, you won't have to do this anymore. All right. Instead, what is going to happen? Some, including residents, will receive an, an electronic monitoring device that will alert authorities if they leave if they leave home. So now they're saying, look, you don't have to stay home. I mean, you don't have to stay in this government uh, facility. You know, if you take this uh, electronic uh, monitoring device, you see. And once again, you know, these these are you know the, the steps towards that uh, that uh, uh, mark of the beast, man. Okay, gradualism. Okay, Esau, you know, these, uh, the, the elites, okay, of this world, okay, the, uh, um, the uh, uh, central bankers, all right, the, the dragon of, all right, of this world, they're in control of all these things, man. And their and they're plan, as we always, you know, been saying, okay, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is for them, it's for, it's for to get the whole world to take this, uh, take this chip. So now they're getting people accustomed and they're using this pandemic as as the the mechanism to uh train the people's mind all right because as we you know mentioned plenty of times they have this uh project all right called the great reset and one of their missions in the great reset is to captivate the will of the people all right captivate the will of the people in order to get the the people to willingly accept this uh this this uh new world order all right let me see if i can um pull that because i I mentioned it a few times but you know i want to just see if i can pull that part because that is that is the mission that these devils are on man and these devils have to move quickly too and that's what they're doing they're moving they're trying to move quickly because they know that they have a uh, short time so let me just type in a great reset See what pops up. So I just I just go here the World Economic Forums. All right, so we see it's it's multiple nations, okay, that are all simultaneously you know involved in this initiative. All right, I want to see if I can find a part where they list the five, I believe it was five uh, or ten um, steps that they want to take. Oh, uh, 
All right, let me do this. The great reset, captivate will of people. Let's lock you. All right, let's see what pops up for this. Hmm. Yeah, see? I know they're not going to... Uh, they're not going to have it in there. But I had did a video on it, you know, uh, when it first... When it first came out, right? And one of the... Um, one of the... Things was to captivate the will of the people. I think Prince... Let's see. Charles speech all right let's see I think this actually might have been the uh, there we go boom so this is uh the five points this is once again the 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 great reset all right Pandemic is a chance to reset global economy, says Prince Charles. Now, this is what's his speech. And one of the, it says the five points he uh, outlined were to captivate the imagination and will of humanity. Change will only happen if people really want it. All right. And they're using this crisis. All right. They're using this pandemic as a, as a way to, uh, you know, motivate people to, uh, to accept this change. OK, up here it says we have a golden opportunity to see something good from this crisis. Now, what is that? What is it? You know, the old saying, OK, in politics, never let a good crisis go to waste. It says it is it's unprecedented shockwaves may help people may well make people more receptive to big visions of change. He added. So right there, man, he, they're telling you, man. OK, <laughs> if you got the spiritual eyes, you've got the eyes soft to see. They're telling you what they're trying to do with this pandemic, that they that they are trying to get people more receptive to big change, uh, big visions of change. And that biggest vision is what to have everybody implemented with that mark, man. OK, with the with the RFID chip. But if, but of course, you got to do what the first and foremost uh, point you got to do. You got to have the ability to do what capture. OK, to capture means to seize the imagination your mind, what you, what you, you know, what you, what you think, okay, and the will of humanity, all right, and it's not just one country here or, or America or you know Europe. It says the will of humanity, all humans. Change will only happen if people really want it, and that's what they're doing. They're making people want this change by scare tactic, okay, by 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 constantly pumping out these numbers, these inflated numbers, all right, of um. Of, of deaths saying that, you know, this is what COVID is uh, is, is uh, causing, man. And people, and, and, and really making people the uh, target, all right, making people the the, uh, the, the, the problem of why, you know, uh, um, of why there's so many uh, deaths and so many people getting sick. Okay, so let's go back now. It says, um, Singapore announced on Monday, which was yesterday, that it will track incoming travelers coming from a select group of countries, including residents and citizens, with electronic monitoring devices starting on August 11th, okay? So you know if, if this country's doing it, all right, Japan and I believe uh, North Korea or South Korea, I believe South Korea already has a device, you know, a wearable device that they put on on, on people's wrists, okay? So so the government could basically know, know their whereabouts, it says authorities framed the trackers as a positive for travelers. You see, trying to say it's a it's a positive thing. We're doing this to help to help the people, help community, to help defeat pan, uh, to help defeat coronavirus. But all in all, what they're really doing is is bringing 
you know, uh, taking uh, more and more of your civil liberties away, okay, and and uh, uh, being able to, you know, have that that big brother mentality, you know, globally. It says, noting they will allow recipients to self isolate at home instead of quarantining in a government facility saying giving them you see you can either be in a government facility or you could wear this device and you could be at home with your family you know this is much more convenient for you new new arrivals will be ordered to activate the devices upon reaching home at which point they are programmed to alert the authorities should the user try to leave or tamper with the device <laughs> so this is a forceful thing, man. It's compulsory. You have to wear this device. And, all right, and, and, and if you try to tamper it or if you try to leave, we will know. It said it is not clear what kind of device the city state plans to use. So they haven't even mentioned exactly what the de- uh, type of device uh, is going to be. It says, though the announcement hints at a something quite a bit beefier than the uh, slimline electronic wristband Hong Kong deployed in March and South Korea has also adopted. Authorities hinted that recipients are supposed to receive and acknowledge notifications on their device itself rather than on a smartphone app linked to the device as in the case of so- uh, Seoul. So now you don't even need a smartphone because that was one of the one of the uh, 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 you know uh, hurdles was that well if you get contact tracing with the smartphone not everybody has a smartphone so now they're saying well this electronic device itself is going to be able to you know receive and acknowledge notifications so now you don't even need a smartphone aka once again getting people's minds adopted all right and and conforming to this uh, uh, to the chip man everything you going to need is going to be right right on this chip Okay, the way we're going to be able to contact you is going to be on this chip. All right, it says, however, the state, the city states have sought to reassure recipients that the device will not store personal data and does not have the ability to record or store audio or video. All right, and, and you know, really, that's just them telling you that. Maybe this one doesn't, but, you know, ultimately, that's what it's coming down to. But how would how will people actually know if they don't have the ability to do that? Because you can't tamper with it. You see? It says Singapore was on was one of the first places to adopt tech enhanced contact tracing to manage its COVID-19 outbreak, developed by a Bluetooth power app called Trace Together, which despite initial fanfare, reportedly failed to attract more than 25% of the population and was quite useless for those without smartphones. You see? Saying that they're 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 taking these steps, man. You know, uh 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 you know, a little bit at a time, but now these steps are becoming more and more, you know, larger steps because as the scriptures once uh, once again says, I get it, that this uh this devil knows he has a short time, man. So he has to he has to speed up these days. He has to speed up these things that he's trying to uh, implement. Okay? Uh Revelation twelve, verse twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell there dwell in them. And that's who? You know, uh who dwells in the heavens? The heavenly father, the angels. Okay, hey, we are even, you know, of a heavenly mind. The scripture tells you that our conversation is in heaven. So we're rejoicing because we're seeing that the end of this age is is at hand. Okay? We're seeing that the end of wicked, you know, a wicked the wicked rulership is coming to an end, but yet we know that, you know, these things have to come to pass first. All right? All these things that are prophesied must be. And one of the things is what? This RFID chip. Okay? You know, as the elder Tahar always says, you know, the end cannot come except the, the RFID chip happens first. So this is why we pay attention, you know, and we sound the alarm for, you know, uh, uh, things that are pressing toward that time that we're rapidly approaching. It says, woe to the inhabitants, uh, the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So this devil sees that he has but a short time because he sees that the prophecies are coming to pass. He's seeing that the elect are waking up. Okay, he's being exposed. All right, Esau is being made bare. All right, the name of the heavenly father and his son is being magnified on the earth again. Esau sees all these things, man. And they know, and, and hey, they got Satan, all right, <laughs> telling them that what? That, that you got to heavy up with, with, with these plans, man, you know? <laughs> but ultimately, as the scripture says, the deceived and the deceiver are, are the most highs. Okay, going on, it says, uh, because the app was programmed before Google and Apple rolled out their contact tracing platform, it doesn't work well with iPhones and is a huge drain on battery life. Um, Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, so that's basically, I'll I'll read this middle paragraph. It says, however, privacy advocators 
are have pushed back to uh, push back against the wearables, noting that it's impossible to tell what the device are actually doing at any given time. Vivian Balak Krishnan, head of Singapore's Smart Nations in, uh, Initiative, has not ruled out making the wearables compuls- compulsory. All right. So <laughs> she has not ruled out making it compulsory, meaning it's a uh, it's a uh, 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 mandated. OK, it says and some have warned that the government need only add Bluetooth sensors to public places to turn the doggles into de facto GPS trackers. The wearables electronic uh, electronic proposed for new arrivals would seem to fulfill those concerns, especially as they are being rolled out for sit- residents and citizens arriving from outside Singapore, as well as for some foreign nationals. So, you know, this is once again, man, that that they're they're they're, uh, you know, uh, uh, captivating the mind. OK, the imagination of the people in order to fulfill their uh, great reset. Now, this is another uh, article which I just run real quick through. All right. This also came out yesterday from Russia Today. It says Americans should start wearing face masks at home. Dr. Deborah Brake uh, says so now they're trying to make it push for a, 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 an initiative for now you got to wear a face mask when you inside your own house. Now, the thing about this is back in the day, a couple, you know, maybe like seven to 10 years ago, when he started coming out with these new uh, um, cable boxes, all right, it was, it has been uh, said and proven that these cable boxes have the ability to record, record you, all right, visually record, record you. Okay, and now that people are, you know, mostly in their houses, you know, working from home and and being in a house for the majority of the day, who's to say that they can't use these cable boxes to record people to see, to make sure that they're, you know, wearing a mask? Because if they mandate it, which you have, I'm going to go read into it. It says families sit down, sitting down to watch the evening news might soon have to wear face masks if the advice of the White House coronavirus advisor. All right. So this is the White House advisor. Dr. Deborah Brick uh, is turned into a rule as Americans disjointed war on COVID-19 continues. Once again, not letting this this crisis go to waste, man. And this big this uh, this reset trying to captivate the, the imagination and the will of humanity. All right. And they're using this to do so, it says with cases of coronavirus beginning to uptick. Uh, to tick upwards across the U.S., Dr. Deborah told CNN on Sunday that the country is entering a new phase in its fight, fight against the disease. <laughs> we are, we, what we are seeing today is different from March and April. It is extraordinarily widespread. It's into the rural as equal urban areas. So everywhere, man. They, they're trying to push this, to, uh, this, this mindset and agenda everywhere. It says, Bright told State of the Union host Dinah uh, Bash before suggesting that Americans take even more extreme precautions against the virus. If you are in a multi-generational household, and which you'd have especially a lot of Israelites are in multi-generational households, man, okay, because... Because of price of living, the standard of living, you have, you know, mothers living, you know, uh, a husband and wife might live with their grand, with their with their parents. OK. And then their children are also, you know, uh, you know, living in a house as well. So it's, it's a very common thing in America for a, a grandparent, you know, a parent and the children all living in and occupying one household. So she is saying what if you are in a multi-generational household and there is a and there is an outbreak in your rural area or in your city, you'll need to really consider wearing a mask at home. Now, really, when you think about it, because it just hit me, if you is just you and your children, then that's also considered multi-generational because I'm one generation and my child is one generation. And that's damn near every every household in America is, is, is going to be a multi-generational household when you think of it like that. Hey, man, these devils are sick, man. <laughs> she says, she said... Citing the threat to the elderly people, to the elderly and people with pre-existing health conditions. Brick Rex, uh, Brick's recommendation comes as Western and Southern states grapple with an upsurge in cases. Ca- California now has more than a half a million of recorded cases in COVID-19, more than any other state. And you see how they can constantly just keep pushing out this, uh, you know, these numbers, man. 
All right. And now they they, they also right here, it says I'm going to jump. It says in all three states, cases began to, to trend upwards since the mid-June after lockdown protests and Black Lives Matter marches brought crowds of people together in hot weather, lured people in, uh, to beaches and vacation spots. All right. So now they're now they're, you know, um, you know, blaming your, your, your protesting, man. OK. Which, obviously, you did have a lot of heathens, you know, a lot of uh, different nations were in the protesting, but the Black Lives Matter movement, you know, they're looking at what? You so-called Negroes and Latinos as being the main, you know, uh, uh, the main people of that. Um, let's keep moving. Let's see. All right. It says, face masks at home may, may seem like a step too far for many Americans, but Bricks is not the first person to recommend the practice. Residents of Miami and Miami-Dade County have been encouraged to mask up at home by their mayors, while Florida state's Democrats have called for mandatory mask orders, which would extend to inside the home. So you have certain you know, cities and states have already tried to push for mandating mask orders inside of the home. In uh, Broward County, local authorities have been sued for their mask orders which mandates mask at all time or a $500 fine. As well, uh, as, well as face masks, uh, Bricks recommended last week that the public wear full face shields. <laughs> Yo, and, you know, brothers have done, you know, videos about how they was doing this during the time of Nim Nimrod, you know, uh, uh, covering, you know, masking, you know, um, covering up your face. All right, this is all satanic and, and left-handed witchcraft. All right, it says, while, colleague, while her colleague, Dr. Anthony Fauci, suggests people wear go uh, goggles on top of their, on top of these protective layers. Oh, these people are sick, man. You know, <laughs> these people are, are freaking, they're, this, if this is life, this is what, 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 what we're supposed to, how people are supposed to be living, man. Hey, this is why this devil got to be taken out of power, man. Because this is not the life that Yahweh Shah said that he's coming to give. All right, he Lord said he's coming to give uh, abundant life, man. You gotta have your face fully masked up, looking like you about to go damn, you about to go purge. Oh man, let me get something. This is out of the book of uh, Micah, chapter two, verse one. It says, "Woe unto them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand." All right, and 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 as time keeps going on, these devils keep coming out more and more draconian laws. You know, means of 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 you know, taking away your liberty, taking away your 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 will to think for yourself and 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 act on on behalf of yourself. You know, your individual you know a uh, uh, mind and making it toward what doing what, what whatever the beast says, man. Okay, and that's what it goes into worshiping the beast. All right, if you don't comply with the beast system, then you're going to be looked at and cast at uh, looked at as an outsider and AKA a, a, a domestic terrorist. And that's why the Lord said, what? The, the devil's going to um, throw you into prison and you're going to be tried 10 days. It's, it's going to be because at a certain point, things are going to get to where if you don't wear a mask, it's going to be against the law. If you speak up, you know, if you if you, you know uh, read the scriptures, it's going to be against the law. If you say anything against the government, it's going to be against the law. All right. That's where that's where things are going to, man. And that's why, once again. You know, the Lord said what? That uh, uh, he that endureth it to the end is going to be safe because a lot of people are going to fold under these conditions, man. All right. And that's why we have to constantly pray that the Lord keeps, you know, uh, our, uh, you know, uh, us with wisdom, knowledge and understanding so that we can be stable during these times. All right. This is uh, Psalm 7 verse 14. It says, Behold, he travaileth with iniquity and has conceived mischief and brought forth for, uh, falsehood. All right. And, and all these things that these devils is using, all these scare tactics, it's all falsehood, man. All right. It's all it's all pluff, you know, and, 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 and you know, uh, 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 just just a bunch of lies because he is the father of it. It says he made a pit and digged it and his fall into the ditch which he made. Yeah, because ultimately, once this devil, you know, does mandate this RFID chip. All right. As the scripture tells us in the book of Job, that when he is about to fill his belly, then what? He, the Lord is going to cast him down. So he's making his pit and he's he's snaring up a lot of people, but but that's ultimately going to end lead to the end of his rulership. All right, it says his mischief, all right, his wickedness, his iniquity, his witchcraft shall fall, shall return upon his own head, and his violent dealing shall come down upon his own pate, man. 
And that's what we and that's what's gonna happen. Cardi right, devil is not gonna win. He already lost, man. And we already have the victory, man. So we're just, you know, cause continue to have to keep watching for these things, all right, not being ignorant of Satan devices, all right, and 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 uh, you know, watching for the signs, man, because we're almost out of this place, man. So I'll leave it there. Lord willing, it's edifying to the elect. Call Lord Yahweh Bashimiao Shai. Till next time, Shalom.